So the first thing we need to do with our nameplate is to give it a bit of heft because if it's light and empty, it's just going to feel cheap. So um, whatever weights you have at home, use them. Um, I haven't got any, so I'm just going to put some gravel in a plastic bag and hot glue it into my tin. And then I'm going to uh, cut off the excess of the plastic bag um, and flatten it down as much as possible uh, helping myself with hot glue as well um, so yeah try and flatten it down as much as possible so it's nice and compact now using your tin or a compass make a circle on a rigid piece of card that's thin but rigid and um, glue it hot glue it onto your tin uh, on top of the stones put quite a bit of hot glue down so that you know it sticks really well and is really nice and sturdy secure the cardboard even further by taping it down with masking tape taping it down in all directions don't worry the tape won't be visible when it's been painted over It feels compact and heavy and just seems to make it feel a lot more valuable than a light empty tin. Okay, so we've completed the structure and now for the decoration. So I have this plastic chain which I use in all my projects and I'm just going to cut out a strip of it and I'm going to glue it all the way around the um, sides of my tuna tin and I'm just going to use simple wood glue it's a wood glue that I use all the time if you want to use hot glue you can use hot glue as well or any other glue that you prefer so I printed out the name I need um, you could do it a couple of times if you want to put the name on the top and on the bottom do it a couple of times but if you just want to do it the once and just paint the bottom um, just the colour that you're going to paint the whole tin then you know it's up to you do what you prefer anyway once you've printed your name out you just place it on top of the tuna tin make a mark with your finger so that you know where you've got to cut it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect because um, the edges are all going to get covered up with the paint Okay, so now I've cut out my name, I'm going to stick it onto the tuna tin. I'm using wood glue and I'm going to paste it onto the tin and onto the piece of paper to get better adhesion. I'm making sure that I press it down really well because I want it to uh, stick down perfectly flat. So now I'm taking some transparent contact vinyl and I'm going to stick it on top of my name. Um, I want to do this because I want to keep my name perfectly clean, uh, white and pristine because I want my um, tin to have a really elegant look and I think keeping it really white is the best way to do that. Also when I paint my tin uh, to decorate it, I can just wipe away any paint that may get on top of the name. So now it's time to decorate the top of the tin where uh, the name is and I'm going to do that by using these um, glass and silver beads. These, uh, All these beads were actually on a cheap bracelet that I had which I never ever wore but it, you know the beads are really nice and it's they're just perfect for this uh, project because the they're quite flat as well, they're not round, they, they, they lay flat and I think that's the perfect shape for this kind of a project. So I'm just going to put some of my usual wood glue down and just stick them on top. And that way I'm going to have some wiggle room as well. Because if I use hot glue then once they're on, they're on. And I can't move them about. So, you know, I think this is the best glue to use for this project. Something that you can move about.
So for the next part of the project, I'll be using this plastic chain. I only need one strip, so I'm going to cut that. And as you can see, the studs are held on by two lines of thread. Now I need to curve the line of studs, so I'm going to need to cut one of the threads in every, um, between every stud. So as before, I'm just going to uh, put down my glue and stick it on. I'm wiping away some excess glue, but even if I leave it on, it doesn't really matter too much because it's, it will dry transparent and um, it will probably get covered up with the paint. So once the glue was dry, I made up this paint. Uh, here's the recipe. I'm going to paint it all over my tin, except for on my name. Um, and also, um, I don't want it to go on my glass gems, but I want it to go onto the silver plastic. Um, I just want to keep the name clear and the gems clear. And so as I am painting them, I'm going to take a wet wipe and I'm going to clean my gems and clean any um, paint that goes on top of my name. I'm going to paint every nook and cranny I can possibly get into. Um, I'm going to do one coat, then I'm going to dry it with the hairdryer. It dries off so quick with this paint. Um, and then I'm going to give it a second coat and that's it. Then we'll go on to the dry brushing. Okay, so now everything's perfectly dry, I'm going to take this gold paint, which only cost me one euro from the euro shop, so it's nothing special at all. Uh, but this is, you know, it's quite good really, it sticks pretty well and it's a good colour gold. Um, anyway, I'm going to try and get a, a kind of a, a brass kind of effect. So um, I'm just going to put a little dab down, take a flat brush and just dry brush lightly all over where I've painted the brown um, and once again I'm still going to try not to um, get the gold paint on my gems and on my name tag uh, and if I do I'll just wipe it away So to make my life a little easier, I've taken this small IKEA brush and I cut off the tip because it was pointed. Um, now it's laying nice and flat. Um, it will help me to dry brush the top of my tin so that I won't get any gold paint on my gems and on my name tag. Um, if I do though, you know, I can just still wipe it off as before. So 
So this nameplate is finished and it's looking beautiful and so elegant. And because it's heavy, my guest can take the uh, nameplate away with her and use it as a paperweight. But now I'm going to do one for a male because this is pretty feminine. So now we need like a, a masculine style of paperweight nameplate. So in the second tin, I have already stuck in the gravel and closed up the bottom. And now I want to decorate the sides. To do that, I just took a couple of meters of string and doubled it and tied it in knots all the way along the string. And then I'm going to wrap it all the way around the tin. So here I made a kind of lasso and threaded the end of the string into the loop of the other end, if you get my drift. Just threaded it through, placed it on the tin and just um, put some hot glue down and then wound it all the way around and then just put hot glue on the end. Try not to overlap the string. As you can see here, I'm just trying to burn off all the straggly hairs that are sticking out. As you can see, I've added my name and contact vinyl like I did on the first tin. Okay, so now it's time to decorate the top of the tin and I have chosen some leaves. Um, I thought that would be quite a, a masculine style of decoration um, and I've chosen out of this box these leaves here and they've already been decorated but I didn't end up you, uh, finishing the project so they've remained like painted but it doesn't matter at all and uh, one of them's even broke but you know once you glue them down no one, not <laughs> no one will notice. So as before, I just proceed to put my glue down, my wood glue and on the leaves as well, and just press them down. And you know, as before, if I need to jiggle them about, I can do that with this glue, but actually they fitted perfectly well. Now I have the decorations stuck on, it's time to paint them in the same way as I did before. Um, I'm going to help myself with a wet wipe of course, if you know I get paint over the name. And uh, I'm also going to use a cotton bud because um, it's quite narrow to clean between this kind of leaf shape. So yeah, I'm going to help myself with cotton bud for this project here. So when I glue down this string, um, I just put on a couple of dabs of hot glue. Um, so now, uh, as I'm painting, because there's glue and cornstarch, uh, bicarbonate soda in this paint, it is also going to act as a glue um, and a stiffener for the string. So the string is not going to budge a centimetre now for, from this tin. It's going to be rock solid when, when it's all dry. So I did do a couple of coats of paint and here is the end result. As before, I'm going over the whole lot with my gold dry brushing.
Well, even if I say so myself, um, it's amazing what you can do with a piece of string and an empty tuna can. Um, you can't get any more cheap and cheerful than that. Mind you, the next project is just as cheap and just as cheerful as the others. And this is for the mum. So even though it has to be special, it's still cheap and cheerful. So keep watching. So for our very special mum nameplate, Paperweight, I've chosen to make a bell from a small yoghurt pot. Now guys, can you actually believe that this was made from this? I think it's really amazing. As you can see, it's turned out to be a very special nameplate for a very special person. Well guys, as much as I really love these red berries on this bell, I'm actually going to take them off because I want this bell um, to have the option of being used all year round as a paperweight and if it has red berries stuck on top it looks too Christmassy so I'm going to take them away and I'm going to leave the white flower on and the green leaves on. I'll leave the mum tag on as well and you know, my mother can choose if she wants to keep it on or take it off. Um, at her own convenience so I think that's what I'm going to do with this well guys I'm going to whiz through the making of this bell so you can see how I did it but it's self-explanatory really because it's exactly the same procedure as the tuna tin except when I um, put the gravel into the yogurt pot first I put newspaper in and then after I put a little bag of gravel in just to give it a little bit of weight uh, but I sorry I, I didn't uh, put that on the video I, I don't know why <laughs> I must have lost that that film somewhere but yeah so first newspaper and then the gravel and I also did a big bell but I'll show that in the reveal at the end so yeah if you have any questions just put them down in the comments So here I'll show you how I made this uh, cute little name tag. I printed the word mum and cut it out. I glued it to some card. And using my usual paint, I painted some half pearl stickers. I dried them off, cut them to size and stuck them around my word. Thank you. 
Then I cut them with the scissors right up to the edge. I then painted the cut edge. Here I'm gluing on my decor. I'm adding double-sided sticky tape to stick on my name. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you liked the video. Happy crafting and here is the reveal.